stop these boring bio mistakes because it's killing your Instagram growth or your brand exposure and it's also killing your conversions, bleeding cells into your bank account. I can't tell you how many times people reach out to me and they share with me that they want to increase their conversions and their growth on Instagram. And when I go to see their bio or they want an audit, the first thing that I notice is that their Instagram bio is not optimized. When it comes to your Instagram bio, it should be very clear who you're speaking to and what you do. That first line in your bio is gold. It is a key word indicator where someone can actually search you and find you. So if you are not searchable, no one's going to be able to find you. Nobody's going to be able to know what you do, how you help them. And when people are here and today on Instagram, they're looking for something. They're searching for something. It is an outlet. It is a way for people to escape their day-to-day -day life. They want to be entertained. They want to laugh. They want to feel something. They want to learn something. They want to feel like they know you. So they're possibly watching your highlights of your life or your day-to-day and it's inspiring them. You sharing your journey, you sharing the, the clients that you're working with, especially as a coach, you want to make sure that you are taking the time to make sure you're searchable. So if you're a fitness coach, okay, you need to have fitness coach, personal trainer, online fitness coach, fitness coach for moms, something very specific tailored to your audience in your bio because it is your business's storefront window. The way you're going to build an Instagram bio that's actually going to convert is you want to make sure that when someone comes to your page, they should know whether or not they should stay. Drop a one in the chat if you know that when someone comes to your page, if I were to click on your profile, is it going to be very clear for me to understand who you are, who you serve, what you do, and how you can help me? Let's go into the keywords. That is your display name. So that is, if you go to your Instagram bio, and if you guys join the Creator Nation, I just dropped the information. If you'd comment creator, I will send you an invite so you can see this replay with the actual screen share breakdown along with the free Instagram growth course for you to access. That's going to break down exactly what steps you need to take to optimize your bio. This is absolutely free. Just comment or DM creator and I'll send it to you. And so that first, you have your Instagram um, image and then there's a line right here. That first line, you wanna have your first name and you wanna have searchable keywords. So if you were to go on the Instagram bio and you were to type in business coach or Instagram reels coach or marketing you're gonna my, i'm gonna pop up so you whatever you do so sandy may coaching whatever type of coaching you do like maybe you're a mindset coach you want to have sandy mindset coach sandy life coach you want to have that so when people are searching for that specifically they're going to be able to find you and you also want to have industry related key terms so what's the language that your audience is using frequently that they are thinking of that they're going to search for that's what you want in that search for so that's number one that's the first key line you want to actually optimize your bio so that way you're searchable you get more visible and this is going to help with more conversions okay that second line so you have your name and some keywords of how you can be found searchable searchably wise and then that next line is you or want to share like what specifically is your content going to be about and who do you serve but say you help women overcome their roadblocks so that way they can become higher performance and make more money and maybe that's what your bio says helping high performance women overcome roadblocks to triple their annual revenue and that's going to speak to a high achieving woman who's looking to for that specifically. And so they, what does this tell that woman? This tells that woman that when she comes to your page, she's gonna get content that is going to help her become a more high achieving woman. And it's going to help her remove some of the limiting beliefs or mental roadblocks that she's experiencing through sticking around on your page. So you wanna have specifically who, how you help your audience and the more specific you can get, if you can get to like the deeper pain points or the frustrations and, or possibly share the desired outcome of what they want to achieve, that's going to help someone stay around way longer and actually hit that follow button and consume more of your content if everything is in alignment, okay? And then next, that next line, you want to have some social proof. Like, why are you qualified? You can share with maybe how many clients you served, how much revenue you've helped your C-suite executives generate and earn. But so you wanna have social proof why someone should work with you. If you're a fitness coach, maybe you've helped 100 women combine lose over a thousand pounds. 
like combined, or you've helped a hundred plus women drop 30 pounds within six months and get, you know, some, something very specific that's going to speak to your audience. I want you to get more specific because everything is very broad. So that's one thing you want to think about. What is the number one thing that you are helping your suites? Like if someone comes to you, I'm a C-suite executive, what is the number one outcome or the number one thing I need to do to get to that specific outcome? You might help with multiple things, like for me. I help with a lot of things and with when it comes to business. Not only we're we gonna build out your content strategy and cl clarify your messaging and your offer. And when I say messaging, content that's actually gonna speak to the heart and soul of your ideal clients, but with the people that you desire to work with. So when it, for work, when they're when you meet with them, it's more like an interview. Are you qualified to work with me? Because I don't accept everybody. Okay. But I also help you build out your whole back end systems and automation, email messaging, sex message messaging, actually having a live training, getting comfortable with the camera and learning to become a creator because you before you can ever get to the vision or the outcome that you want to become you have to first become that person so if you are not creating content and you're not comfortable talking to the camera and you don't have a habit of that content creation muscle that's what i like to call it a content creation muscle you need to become that first and so that's some of the training that we go through but i don't talk about all of that. I focus on content. Why? Because content is the foundation. This is how you're going to get people to raise their hand. This is how you're going to get people interested in what you do. Okay. This is how you have a global brand message through creating content with this device, which is absolutely 1000% free. So the bio, the bio is the first peek sneak peek of who you are to your brand and your message the next line after that is a call to action if you don't have a call to action in your bio it's not going to ignite curiosity so you want this bio here this is where you want to again speak to their desired outcome call to action i'm thinking let's see dm me growth or dm me now or dm me keyword to achieve specific outcome in specific time frame so for example, mine is DM me 20K if you want to earn your next 20K plus month within the next 90 days. Or maybe 10, maybe it's just 10K that you want to get to. But people will DM me 20K letting me know that that's what they want to do. But why? Because I have the call to action. So if you're a fitness coach, DM me now to drop your next one to two inches with, within 30 days or less. Something very specific. But you want to have a keyword in there so that way you can have an automation set up so that way it automatically is going to send them a message or a link as soon as they comment or DM that word. And then you want to have a specific time frame. So how long is it from when they work with you? Can they get to that outcome if they do the work? Because you all listen, you have to do the work. Even with my clients, even I'm sure you as a coach, you have clients that sometimes they don't necessarily get the result that you desire because no matter how much you as a coach show up, your client has to do the work. You have to do the work. And then finally is that link, that link in your bio. We don't say link in bio, y'all. We direct people there through conversations that we have or specifically keywords. The keywords is going to be the best way for you to increase your leads and your conversions by using keywords in your content, keywords when you're going live, keywords when you're doing reels, keywords everywhere, okay? And when I say keyword, what I mean is you're going to tell your audience to DM you a keyword. So like right now, I'm saying comment or DM creator, creator. And then what's going to happen? I'm going to send you a link to an invite to join the free Creator Nation community where you're going to get access to this live plus so many live trainings. I go live every week. I'll be on Tuesdays at noon central. So going back to the link in your bio, this is where you want to have whatever you're promoting at the time, you want that link there. Do not, okay, listen, do not have a link tree with like 10 links where you're promoting a third party, a link for some clothes or their Amazon store, some protein, athletics, or you're promoting all these other businesses, but your own. Unless this affiliate link, you are making your desired income and revenue, take it out of your bio. You can refer it to your clients or to people in the DM, but don't put it in your bio, okay? Unless you're always creating content about that. Your content within that bio, if you have more than one link, I recommend three to five max, really just three. It should be promoting you for people to direct 
to maybe you have a free workshop, like I have a free workshop, it goes there. You maybe have a free resource, it goes there. You have a free community, it goes there. Somewhere for them to go, you capture their information. Now they're a part of your world. You can continue that relationship, build rapport, nurture them, and work to understand how you can ultimately continue to serve them. So please do not have a multi-leak to multiple affiliates. You want to promote you and your services and specifically whatever you're promoting at the time. So for example, if you this week, you are going to be having a live workshop. That's the only link that should be in your bio. If you have like 10 links, they're going to look at that link tree or that multi-link and then they're going to like, I don't know what to choose. I'm just going to click off. Now you haven't gotten anything. So you want to be really specific with that and oh this this too please make sure that your bio works okay i can't tell you how many times i will go to maybe audit someone's account and then i go to the link in their bio and it goes to a 404 page it don't even work no bueno y'all so please make sure that your bios work so how many of you who are still here right now can check off every box oh i meant to even mention the profile you have a clear profile image where they can see you and it's, it's smiley, it's bubbly, it's welcoming. So you wanna have a key profile image. You have some keywords speaking to your audience based off your industry for that key, that first line, that which is the bold line in your bio. And it should have your first name too. I, I don't like, and it bothers me when I go to someone's page and you can't, you don't know what to call them. It just says like a title, but you don't know what their first name is. People at the end of the day, they wanna to get to know you, they're buying you. So your name, then you have, who specifically you serve, but then also what the content's gonna be about. Then you have your accolades, some social proof. Then you have a call to action, and then you have a bio that is not vomiting a ton, ton of links. Now it's your turn. It's your turn to answer these questions. What keywords do people typically search within your industry? What keywords do they typically search? Whatever those keywords that they are constantly speaking, put that in that first line in that bio, okay? So for example, if you're an at-home fitness trainer or an at-home trainer for moms, specifically, you can say, Sarah, at-home trainer for moms. Because what's gonna happen? I'm a mom, I'm at home, I don't know how to work out, and I wanna get fit. I'm gonna type in in the keyword search bar, at-home trainer for moms, or at-home fitness for moms, or at-home workouts for moms. Those are things that I'm going to be searching for. And guess who's gonna pop up? You, and they're gonna find you, but then what's next on that line? Who specifically do you help? So if you say you help moms, but then none of the content is related to moms or you don't, listen, okay, let me say this real quick. If you're not a mom, please don't try to serve moms because you really do not understand what a mom is going through, what a mom is thinking. So it's really gonna be hard for you to connect. I'm saying that because I have seen trainers who claim they help moms, but they're not a mom. The messaging and the language just isn't connecting. Okay, so ultimately, whoever you're helping serve, I want you to have experience. Because when you have experience, it's going to come across more authentically and more clear and real. Because it doesn't matter what you say, okay? People can read and people can see your body language. Because if you're unsure, your audience is gonna be unsure. So I want you to be confident. So who specifically do you help? Is that next line? Question, answer that. And then what specifically is your content about? That should also be in that line. What experience do you have in the industry? So that's that social proof. So Sonia, you might have 10 plus years working with C-suite execs. You can say 10 plus, 10 years, um, 10 years serving C-suites uh, achieve certain milestone. So based off working with you, I'm just gonna call it, make it a revenue, like a revenue outcome. Maybe you help um, add an additional $10,000 to the revenue in, in, in 90 days or $10,000 in a year or whatever it is because you have worked with them. So what is that outcome? And then lastly, your CTA, get specific with your CTA, ideally a keyword, meaning you can say comment me, comment now, comment join, comment, um, let's see, fit, comment energy, comment something for them to again, connect with you. And you know, when someone comments that keyword, they are a warm, um, I would say, I don't like to use the word um, lead really or client. I wanna like, because at the end of the day, when you're working with someone, it really is like a family. We're, we are a family, it is a community. So uh, D, DM me now to join, like, and then you connect with them to be a part of the community. 
be a part of the family in your world because you're ultimately here to serve them. So when you are able to do that and your bio reflects all of those elements, you're going to see a shift. People are just naturally going to find you because now you're searchable. People are going to then go through your content because it's aligned. So not only do you want your bio speaking to them, but you want your content to speak to them too. If your bio says one thing, but your content is not aligned, they're not gonna stick around and they're gonna be very confused. And ultimately it's almost like you're lying, okay? You want everything to be cohesive. So your bio, and your content should be in alignment. And then don't be afraid, this will be another live, don't be afraid to get into the DM and have conversations because at the end of the day, social media is meant to be social. So yeah, you might have an automation that goes ahead and makes that first connection, but then I want you to then go in and make that connection. I want you to go in and send a voice note, send a video note, say hello, get to know them, and invite them to your community. So again, if you love this live, if you found this helpful, make sure to DM the word creator for your free invitation to the Creator Nation community. For those of you who are already here, you guys are getting all this tea and you're seeing the, the live feedback right now. But again, you will get access to so many free resources. We're going live every week. But if you're in the room, if you're in the room, you get to see the slides, you get to interact, you get to ask more questions, you will have feedback. So you can submit your questions, you can submit your content, you can submit whatever it is that you are working on for a review because it's not just content I do, y'all. I do business and sales too, but that's on another live. So I hope you found this valuable. Talk soon, y'all. Have a blessed day.